Uh, welcome to Cannes, William Dufour and uh, Abel Ferreira. Thank you. Thank you. How does it feel to be in Cannes? Are you enjoying your time? I'm having a good time by the beach, <laughs> fancy hotel. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good. I'm happy because presenting this film, Tommaso, and also before I uh, presented uh, Robert Eggers' The Lighthouse. So two films in Cannes. Uh, you see old friends. Finally, it's got the weather has gotten nice. Haven't gotten a chance to see films because I've been talking to press, talking to people like you. Yeah. So it's your fault that I don't <laughs> see these films. Exactly. <laughs> what does it What does it mean to you to uh, have your uh, movie here in Cannes? I mean, well, you know, Cannes is a place we've been coming to for for a long time. You know, so it's you know it's to show films in France, which are. You know, it's a, a place that really not only loves films, supports films, feel that, you know, films are important. Not just the showing of them, the, the writing about them, the, the conversation about them. You know, it's one of the reasons I live in Europe, is the appreciation for the work and appreciation for the, you know. And uh, the movie had recently premiered uh, here in uh, Cannes. What was your first reaction after seeing the movie? Uh, uh, Tommaso, um, you know, I had seen in various stages of cuts because he would show me cuts. Um, always when I see a movie, I, I think of the experience of making it. So I'm the wrong person to ask. <laughs> and um, uh, Abel Ferrer, I was thinking if you could uh, describe shortly for the audience um, what's the movie it's about. It's about a an artist, a film director, living in Rome, younger wife, a new child. Just kind of his day-to-day -day existence, you know, his personal life. He's, um, he's planning a new film. It's the life of an artist, really. And where did you get your inspiration of when you were doing the movie? Of an artist is not such a young man. <laughs> it was the alternate title. What got me interested in what? Uh, no, where did you, where, what was your inspiration of the movie? What's my inspiration for this movie? Um, you know, that's a great question. And the this life, is the sixth time. The life. <laughs> the life. The life. <laughs> yeah, that's the answer. It's the sixth time I've been asked that question and I still haven't come up with the right answer. <laughs> I'm the giving life it to you, man. Good. <laughs> Three times. The life. The life. Yeah. And um, William Defoe. Yes. Um, first, we, before we talk about your character, uh, first I want to say I was impressed that you were speaking Italian quite a lot. Was that a challenge for you? Or? Uh, we both live in Italy, and uh, for a, an Italian speaker, uh, my Italian is not that great, and to improvise in Italian is difficult. So is that a challenge? Yes. But, uh, you know, I'm used to, do, I'm used to it. I'm used to struggling with that language because that's my life. Um, but he speaks it. I mean, he didn't learn. No, I, I no, I didn't learn it for the movie. And and I, I, I study every day. My wife's Italian. I live in Rome. I'm not always there, but um, so we're basically talking about improvising in a second language, one that I'm not quite, that I'm not uh, fluent in. So that is a challenge. But sometimes, sometimes those kind of challenges also uh, focus you in a different way than you normally operate on. So it's, uh, you know, a curse in disguise as a blessing, maybe. And how will you describe your character? I wouldn't. <laughs> I think he described him. I mean, the important part is it's, it's the daily life and... Uh, a guy going through his days. Um, and uh, Rome is very present and very specific location. He's an American. He is learning Italian. He's teaching classes. He's preparing a new film. He's making dinner with his wife. He's uh, going, to, going to... Uh, Yes. Going to Crucified. AA meetings. Yeah. Yeah. So, if we look short in the future, then uh, will you do? If we look uh, shortly into the future, um, are you planning some new uh, projects together, or? Yeah, no choice. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, both of you have uh, been in the industry for quite a long time. You said some what type are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to say that uh, you said some type of movie that you feel like you really want to do. Good movies. Good movies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. you really Did I say? What do you really want to do? You know, I, I never mean, know until kid, I get you there. Don't know, I man. never know until I get there. Yeah. I just want to work with good people. Yeah. I want to do stuff that matters, you know, does stuff that engages me. Stuff that, I, you know, everything goes faster as you get older. Yeah, right, and right. Uh, I just want to s stay awake and get even more awake and uh, learn things, you know, not, not get into the lockstep. For me, um... I like to do Western, and I like to, well, he did his Vietnam movie. I'd like to do a movie about Vietnam yeah. and a Western. Can I be in it? <laughs> yeah, you can play <laughs> Berenger's part. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, William, uh, what is important for you when you uh, pick an acting part that you, that you want to be a part of? Ah, it's always different, but uh, it's, and it's always a combination of things, but the director is very important. Uh, the adventure of where you're shooting is important. The way you're shooting is important. Yeah, I think those are the main things. And Abbe Ferreira, uh, will you ever consider to shoot a movie in Sweden? Why not? You have to talk to the Swedish Film Institute to cooperate with them. Do what? You have to talk to the Swedish Film Commission or Film Institute to yeah, cooperate. Where are they? Do they listen to your <laughs> show? There? Do they listen to your show? Is she one of them? <laughs> Okay, but uh, How do you feel about yeah. doing a western. Yeah, yeah, Jessica is up for it, you know. So she would love to have a role in it. We, your cast. Yeah. <laughs> How about someone uh, in your audience? All right, we're up for anything. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for the interview, and I hope you have a great time in camp. Great, thank you.